Jalans, welcome you all to e-learning platform. This is Faslam and we will throughout this lecture. Me faculty member Department of English World University of Bangladesh. So this is week three. In this week you will learn Rider Introduction to Riders to the Sea, written by John Millington Singh. Now the short biography of John Millington Singh, of J.M. Singh, in brief. Let's begin. First of all, we will discuss, we'll discuss about the biography of J.M. Singh. The full name of his is Edmund John Millington Singh. Born on 16 April 1871 and died on 24 March 1909. He was an Irish playwright, poet, writer, collector of folklore and a key figure in the Irish literary revival. His best known play, The Playboy of the Western World, was poorly received. Due to his bleak ending, depiction of Irish peasants, an ide idealization of parricide, leading to hostile audience reactions and riots in Dublin during his opening run at Abbey Theatre, Dublin, which he had co-founded with William Butler Yeats and Lady Gregory. His other major works include In the Shadow of the Glen, published in 1903, and Riders to the Sea, published in 1904, which is supposed to be a new text, and that you will study in this semester, along with other texts. And the other um, plays are The Whale well of the Saints, published in 1905 and the Tinkers Wedding 1909. Although he came from a wealthy Anglo-Irish background, his writings mainly concerned working class Catholics in rural Ireland and with what he saw as the essential paganism of their worldview. Owing to ill health, Singer's home school, his early interest was in music leading to his scholarship and degree at Trinity College Dublin and he went to Germany in 1893 to study music. He abandoned he, this career path in 1894 with a move to Paris where he took up poetry and literary criticism where he met Yeats and then returned to Ireland. Singe suffered from Hodgkin's disease. He died aged 37 from Hodgkin's related cancer while writing Dader of Sorrow, considered by some as his unfinished masterpiece. Although he left relatively few works behind, they are nonetheless widely regarded as of high cultural significance. That's all regarding the biography of J.M. Singe, of John Millington Singe. Now we are going to discuss about the introduction to Riders to the Sea. First of all, we discuss about the plot of this one-act play. This is a one-act play. Moria is the protagonist of this play. Moria has lost her husband and five of her sons to the sea. As the play begins, Nora and Kathleen receive word from the priest that a body, which may be their brother Michael, has washed up on shore in Donegal on the Irish mainland north of their home island of Inishman. Bartley is planning to sail to Ponimara to sail a horse and ignores Moria's pleas to stay. 
believes gracefully. Moria predicts that by nightfall she will have no living sons, and her daughters chide her for sending Bartley off with an ill word. Moria goes after Bartley to bless his voice. And Nora and Kathleen receive clothing from the drowned corpse that confirms it was Michael. Moria returns home, claiming to have seen the ghost of Michael riding behind Bartley and begins lamenting the loss of the man in her family to the sea. After which, some villagers bring in the corpse of Bartley. He has fallen off his horse into the sea and drowned. So this is the story of the people living in the coastal area or the seaside who live on fishing and they go to the sea on boat uh, to earn their livelihood by fishing. So in this play a family which is suffering from so many nightmares um, and nightmares and which actually affected by their fate or natural calamity or disaster or a natural force or a supreme power in which they have no hand to control it. So people are controlled by their own work but they can control their fate or the natural disasters or death. So these things bring some tragedy to the people or the family in the society or community for specific people. So some tragedy comes to the people due to their own act or tragic flaw and some tragedy comes to their life due to the natural calamity or disasters or their fate we may say. Let's proceed. So, the setting of the play is Ireland, Dublin, the coastal area of Ireland. There we, you can see the Irish Sea. Okay, and this is Dublin, the capital city of Ireland. Okay, and there are other European countries you can see in the map Celtic Sea, Saul George's Chan St. George's Channel. North Channel, Northern Ireland, United Kingdom. Okay. So proceed on. Characters in the play. Now you, you are going to be introduced to the characters in the play. The characters are Moria, Kathleen, Nora, Bartley, Moria's sons, Sean, Shimas, Stephen, Patch, and Michael, and Moria's husband. Okay, so Maria, who is Maria? Brief strike and widow who lost her husband in the sea. A mother of eight children Kathleen, Nora, Bartley, Sean, Seamus, Stephen, Patch, and Michael. And Kathleen, Mar uh, Maria's elder daughter, tries to keep her mother from dying from grief by identifying her disease, deceased brother. Michael's clothing. Nora, Maria's younger daughter, helps her sister with their mother. But Bartley, Maria's youngest and only living son, has died by the end of the play. So he is the, the last uh, resource for their earning. As in those days, uh, women uh, did not contribute to the family earning, they only work inside the home. And male, a male of the family go outside and struggle and sometimes they face death in course of their earning of livelihood. So Bartley, uh, Maria's youngest and only living son, and before his she lost her husband and all other sons. So the only son who is living, also she lost her at the end of the play. So there's the tragedy of a family, of a widow, 
okay living just near the coastal area of sea Maria sons other sons are Sean, Seamus, Stephen, Pats and Michael as well as Maria's husband are all deceased when the play begins. There is also a previous character who is never seen but is quoted by Kathleen and Nora in the beginning of the play. So here we, uh, we can see a scene of the stage, okay, of the stage of the theater. That is performed by some uh, some actors and actresses. Uh, I mean, the daughters are consoling their mother due to the loss of their last uh, male member of the family. Okay, his name is Bartley. Bartley is the last youngest son, living son of the family, Maria's family, who is a widow woman. Okay. I think you can understand the plot of the play is very simple okay so not poetic dialogue it, uh, this play includes poetic dialogue of rural Ireland uh, which is coastal area just near about the sea uh, fatalism the oscillation between culture and harsh realities I mean the nature such as the ravaging sea fragility of life I mean the temporality of life. Our life is really very fragile. Uh, it can be broken at any time. It can be lost at any time. So sometimes uh, we think that, that this life is really meaningless. When we think about death, when we think about the natural calamity or ravaging, ravaging nature, <laughs> destroying nature. Okay. So. Human's life is really very uncertain, and especially for those who are living uh, just near about the coastal area where they always fight against their deaths when they go to the sea. The critical condition of people living in the islands, uh, superstitions and uh, recollections from the past, and observe the simple life described in the play. So that's all in this week you will learn more about this play and I will discuss in detail the major themes and other things and also we deeply discuss the critical appreciation of the play okay that's all for this week three more will be available in week four okay thank you and bye bye